Hey guys, a little quick update here. Um, something new for 2014. A couple things we wanted to show off to you. Um, we're really excited about this. Uh, we've got some changes to a couple of things and kind of some new additions. Um, won't waste a whole lot of time, we'll just get straight into them. Um, one of the things that we've been working on doing is obviously constantly improving our gear. How can we make it stronger, better, um, longer lasting, etc. <clears throat> now we think we make a pretty doggone good uh, rig as it is, uh, especially in regards to strength, longevity, durability, etc. We'll put ours up against anybody's out there in that department. And there's a lot of good stuff out there. <clears throat> but one of the things that we went to, and we're combining this with a new model actually, for 2014, we are switching over, well not switching over just yet, but we're adding on the addition of the new construction technique on the new rig. This is our new Mark III version of the Minuteman. And there's also going to be a corresponding Mark III version of the Swamp Fox. Now right off the bat you can tell a couple of the changes of this Minuteman versus the, the current Mark II version. Mark III version, four magazines, and instead of three columns of Molly on the side, only two. You'll also notice that on this rig we eliminated the admin pouch on the inside so that everything can be sewn through both layers of cordura that make up the body. So everything on this rig is sewn through at least two layers of cordura if not more. You'll also notice that there's binding tape around the outside of the base, binding tape on the mag pouch ends, and new flap design we're still keeping with our tried and true and trusted tuck tab. However, now we've got more of a rounded profile on the flap and you've got binding tape around the edges and also two inch webbing reinforcement running up through the middle of it. This makes for a somewhat lighter weight and a little more flexible magazine uh, flap for the magazines than the current version, but it's also stronger. Um, the addition of the binding tape really makes for a, a, a strong rig. Um, on the shoulder harness, you'll notice binding tape on the shoulder harness. We've eliminated the inch and a half webbing running through the middle of the shoulder harness on this. We still keep our one inch daisy chain on it, but this gives you a nice lightweight uh, fairly decent weight reduction on, on the entire rig, especially the shoulder harness, but it also makes it a little more pliable so that it will conform over your shoulders a little better. Um, we just really like it all the way around. Geometry is still the same. You still keep our H harness style that we feel is probably the most comfortable on the market. Um, and it just makes for a nice, clean, simple, functional rig. Now, the Mark III version is intended to be part of what is potentially going to be our, our new Rifleman series. Um, it's designed even more so than the Mark II versions to be ran specifically with a backpack and other related gear, um, some of which we're still working on and, and hope to be able to bring out to you uh, as we progress through the year. It's going to be a slow process, but we're going to try to get it out as we can. Um, this is a Swamp Fox, the Mark III version. You'll notice we've switched to two columns on this as well. That's going to be standard on the Mark III, is only two columns instead of three. Again, the idea being a small, simple blowout kit, small, simple GP pouch, however you want to configure it. Just, again, designed to be worked with some other gear and specifically a backpack, uh, even better than what the Mark IIs do. That one's in Ranger Green. Of course, old school woodland's still going to be standard, um, as is Ranger Green. We are also adding in for this year OD Green. Um, just a couple of quick notes, real quick. On the OD Green rig, 
we decided to go with ranger green tape and webbing just to uh, just to kind of give it a good two-tone look but still keep with the overall greenness of it the ranger green doesn't take away from the OD at all it actually kind of highlights it complements it really well um, we really like it on our old school woodland rigs we actually did a, a combo we're running ranger green binding tape with coyote webbing and it just really we think sets off uh, this rig and makes it just a, a really good looking rig not that uh, looks are all that overly important to, to, to our market and, and our customers but you still want uh, good stuff you don't want it to look like a piece of junk um, same thing on the bandoliers you're going to notice binding tape on those as well on the edges same with the flaps there's not going to be a mark three mark three version of the bandoliers the bandoliers will be switching over completely to this uh, this style and this this technique um, the for the time being We'll still keep the Mark II version of the Minuteman and the Swamp Fox, and we're going to add in the Mark III version. Um, we'll see how that goes. We may start phasing out the Mark II versions uh, as we go. Not sure. We'll, we'll just kind of see, you know, based on feedback, how that works out. Um, one key benefit, aside from the added strength that go into to, uh, this technique and this design. Uh, adds in uh, I think you'll all really appreciate this this is for us a good bit faster uh, on the manufacturing side so it, it's an it wasn't what we were shooting for but it was an added uh, benefit it is a little bit quicker to make um, so that translates into us getting caught up faster and getting it in your hands even quicker so all good benefits all the way around we think uh, again the new Mark III version of the Minuteman Swamp Fox and the changeover we'll be doing to the bandoliers. Um, we're considering going ahead and making the switch over on the bandoliers right now um, and, and not waiting on that. Uh, we'll let you know for sure if you've already got an order in on, with us that you're waiting on um, and you don't want the new version, you want to keep it the old style, let us know. We don't mind doing that. After all, that's what you ordered when you ordered it. So, you know, we will honor that completely, no, no problem. However, I will just throw out, the more people that agree to let us go ahead and do their current uh, bandoliers and stuff in the new style, um, more people to do that, the, the faster even we can get caught up there and, and the faster everything gets, gets out. Still gonna be a little while getting completely caught up, but we are making, making progress on that front. And, and we'll talk more about that later. But anyway, so far for 2014, this is what we're looking at. Other gear that we've got working on, some other items we hope to get brought out uh, maybe first part of the summer, if all goes well. Um, also still looking at different uh, colors and camo options. I think for solid colors right now, we're gonna stick pretty close with the Ranger Green, OD Green, and Coyote. Uh, camo patterns, uh, we've still got uh, Pincott patterns, we've got uh, Atax, we've got our old favorite old school woodland um, and multicam. We are considering some other things that, as you probably noticed on our Facebook, the uh, post we put up there, we've gotten some good response back on that. Right now, uh, options are, are looking pretty good. We're entertaining if, if there's enough demand, possibly Cryptek, um, possibly. Uh, some of the new multicam stuff such as the uh, multicam tropic, multicam arid that'll all be dependent on a availability of, of materials when they get it all out and then of course you know, what you guys want customer demand so anyway there you go OD Green Mark III Minuteman Swamp Fox new style on the uh, bandoliers hope you guys like it let us know what you think talk to you later